lanes and what that is, and uh, RESTful routing specifically. So let us actually I have too many tabs open, but we'll figure this out. Did you show them this? Restular? No. Okay. So what Restular is, um, is it will solve all your problems for you if I can get on the internet. Okay. It's weird. Okay. Cool. Did I spell it wrong? Oh. Huh. So. Bloop. Oops. Just kidding. Bloop. All right. So. Let's just say you have an app, right? And you want to know what the RESTful route is for it, right? The other day we built something called Donuts. So I would just have all my donuts, all my routes, right? I wanted to see all my donuts. I would go to the index, and my path is just slash donut, and the HTTP is get. If I wanted to see what it looked like in Sinatra, this is sort of like the template. And this is a very simple example, right? I'm going to get all my donuts. I'm going to put it in an instance variable so then I can pass it into the view. I want to make sure I'm in my donuts folder under my views, and then I'm going to go to the index page for donuts. Any questions on this so far? All right, pretty, pretty straightforward. Yep. Like RESTful routing is a convention um, that far exceeds like Sinatra. Right? It's just where your resources are. And if we can all agree uh, on how we're going to name everything, then it's so much easier to get it. Right? So for example, in literally a couple weeks, when you start building your own projects and you want to deploy it to the internet, if somebody wanted to see something, right? you guys did the Star Wars API, right, the swappy? Based on the certain routes, the path, and the resource, it's going to give you back certain data. Does that make sense? Like if I wanted to see like, all the episodes, then I would go to like the Star Wars API slash episodes, right? If I wanted to see like all the ships that were like ever in the Star Wars universe, I'd be like slash ships, right? It's just an agreed upon convention about where we're going to point to all of our resources and what we're going to do with those resources, right? Like if I want to edit it, I know I'm going to be editing, right, ship with an ID of seven. So it's going to be like ships slash seven slash edit. So if I see that, I already know what's happening. Does that make sense? Cool, good question. All right, so it pretty much goes down like all of them, right? Like if I wanted a new one, right? The view file would be under donuts new. The path would be donuts new. And this is what it's gonna do, all right? It's just gonna show a new one. Does that make sense? So why do I not have view files for this post and the view files for these? Why would I not have view files for them? That's absolutely right, right? It's just because they redirect, right? If I'm going to do something when I create this, I'm going to do new with the params, and I'll show you this in a little bit. I'm just going to do a new. Once I send my params over, it's going to make the new donut, and then it's going to redirect you somewhere else, right? Probably to the show page. So if it's just going to redirect and do something in the background, it doesn't need its own view page. Does that make sense? Is that clear? Same with delete, right? Would I show a page just to delete? I'm probably just gonna have a delete button somewhere. Maybe on the show, maybe on the index so I can show you like, hey, these are all 10 donuts or trash can nachos, whatever it is, and I wanna delete this one. The view page for delete isn't unique. It's gonna be on a separate view page because it's just essentially a button that I'm gonna click to delete that um, item from my database. Cool, 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 cool. Anyways, this is like your cheat sheet, right? So, Restular, it's pretty cool. All right, so let's get started. So here, um, I have like a pretty basic template for you. I'm just gonna build like books and authors. N not because it's super exciting, but it's because I just rather you understand what's happening. <laughs> oh, you saw that? Yeah. Yeah, that was intense. <laughs> yeah, see, I learned my lesson, you know. Cool, yeah. I think um, in one of their, in the current Mod 4, they were like, oh, yeah, let's build an association where we can have um, lots of criminals 
All right? And criminals can have like lots of arrests through the cop. And I was like, all right, cool. And they're like, what should we call this app? And I was like, I know it, Florida Man. So if you're not familiar with Florida Man, um, it is worth your time to just Google. Yeah? Cool. Huh? Oh, man. Florida Man uh, is a reference to just... Quick summary, Florida has a lot of weird, interesting laws. Um, and so there are a lot of interesting crimes that happen there. Right? Florida Man strikes again. You know, just peeing in a bookstore. Like, okay. Anyways, all right. The madness. That sounds about right. Um, but yeah, Florida man. But today, just books and authors. You know, it's gonna keep it pretty chill. All right, because the relationship is easy, right? So what I want to go over today is how to establish a relationship. All right, quick review. Uh, should be pretty familiar with the discussion question this morning. And then how do we build a form to create a, an associated object? Right. And that's really about it. I'm also gonna teach you something called mass assignment. Uh, uh, through the forms. Right? Does everyone remember mass assignment? No? Yeah. Somewhat? Yes? I'm Ron Burgundy. Mass assignment? All right, cool. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over all of it, uh, and at the end, if there are still some questions, uh, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Right? Uh, no, that's more like inheritance. Uh, mass assignment, I'll show you, is where you can just do something like book.new and then just throw in like params and then it will just take all of it, oh, okay. right? As opposed to doing like something like silly, like title is like the params of title and it's like not as effective. Yeah, this was a lot of like hash right? Yeah, like basically you just throw in the hash and it's good to go. It works for some things, but not for everything. But I'm gonna make it work for everything. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so. Pretty simple, right? I'm not gonna go over this again um, in detail, but the bottom line is I'm just pulling from the Google API so that I can see my database with books and authors. Yeah? If you wanted to look at the source code, we'd be more than happy to go over it with you one-on-one -on -one offline. But really what it's doing is I'm just gonna go to this books API and I'm just gonna pull in books and authors and I'm gonna see my database with it. All right? I went over this in the other lecture, a little bit more detail. But it, the juice is not worth the squeeze, you know what I'm saying? Cool. All right, application controller. Um, pretty standard, right? We're inheriting from Sinatra base and not active record base, all right, which would be completely different. I'm setting the views to make sure that I'm going into my views folder for any time I need to see like a view page. I need to like tell Sinatra what path to go to for the views. And I'm already setting myself up for success with this method override. Because remember, the browser only knows two types of HTTP verbs, right? The get and the post. If I don't have this method override, I can't trick the browser with my hidden input field to do put patch or delete. Yeah? And this will make more sense here in a little bit, again, as just like a refresher. And then I have just this slash root, and I'm going to render the welcome just so I have something to see when I first load and start the server. Yeah, cool. My author's controller, I've already pre-populated it with the RESTful routes. All right, you should start getting used to this, seeing this pretty normally. Um, and it's by design, right? CRUD is, it's not sexy, you know? It's not super fun, but it's designed to be able to have you manipulate all the data. And once you get used to this, once it becomes really fast and easy for you, you can start building out more fun features. Right? Like if you're not wasting your time with some of these simple decisions like, okay, I gotta show all these books, right? All right, cool, I need to show the details of this one book. I show the details of this one author. Um, then you can do something cooler with it eventually. Right? This is just designed for you to get all the basics out of the way. Yeah? Cool. Nobody likes playing defense. Yeah? It's like, all right. So you want to like, then you can do all like this, the super fun offense stuff later. Yeah, cool. Same with books, all right? Um, we have specifically not really gone into delete and we won't until we get into Rails, which would be actually this afternoon. And then we'll get into Rails. I'll give you a Rails lecture tomorrow. It's because it's so much easier and it's a little bit different in Rails. 
and it's not very valuable to like invest the time to just show you the delete right now. Delete's gonna make more sense when I introduce it to you in Rails, all right? I think there's some labs on it, but if it's still a little like iffy, um, I'm gonna like make it concrete in Rails, all right, for delete. You should be able to at least do these six. Index, new, show, create, edit, and update. Cool? All right. Again, I have my layout, all right? Here, look, I have a style tag. And all I'm doing is I'm adding some style. So when you first load it, you'll see some styles in here, right? We'll give you some optional CSS lectures that I think either Zach or Steven or myself will give you, um, just to give you like a quick refresher on a little bit of CSS, all right? Cool, 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 cool. All right, here's my environment. Again, just active record. I'm not going to like slow you down, but essentially from the terminal, all right, if I wanted to do books and authors, well, how would I do it? If I wanted to make my books table, what would I do? Yeah, right? I'd make a migration for it, and I would just put like create books table, and then create the authors table, and then I'd go through, I'd get the migration, and I'd see something like this. Yeah? I'm just gonna create a table with books, all right? What is this right here? Yes, but what would I call it? The foreign key. Do you remember? Remember this from mod one? Oh yeah, yeah, foreign key. All right. So the attributes of book in this table is just it has a title and a snippet. All right, just like a short description of what that book is, and then it's going to have this foreign key of author ID. Why does it have a foreign key of author ID? Is books that has many or the belongs to? The belongs to, right? The belongs to always has the foreign key. Cool? And so authors, I'm keeping it mad simple and mad real. I've just, I just put name in there. All right? I don't, I don't want this spiciness factor throwing us off again. It's out of control. Cool? All right. Boom. This is like just calling the Google's adapter to seed my database. Yes, sir? show you like in two seconds. Let me just get through the rest of this file structure, but good question. All right, all I'm doing is this is how I'm seeing the database with the Google adapter. I put this in here already so I don't run into those errors. Remember, I need to actually use the all the controllers that I'm gonna be building so that it doesn't think that application controller is the only controller that exists. Does that make sense? So if I had like a squirrel's nest and trees, I would have a squirrel's controller in here, a nest controller, and a trees controller. Yeah? Yes? Do you always um, set the view, like where the views are in the application controller, not the configuration? Yes, I would put it uh, here. Okay. This is where I would personally put it. Um, you can put it in the config.argo. Um, it just made more sense for me here. This is like a developer choice. You don't have to worry about it. Rails will <laughs> auto magically do it for you. Um, and Rails is bomb. Free standard gem file, and then all I do is I have pry. Cool? So, what do we know about this migration, right? It creates the table for us. So if I migrate it, I should have what? Yeah? Cool. So what should be in it? This means that the migration was successful, right? So I have like a name, my foreign key, and all my attributes. Cool, so first thing I wanna do is I wanna test, right? Before I do anything else, I like migrated and I wanna test. Cool, so let me go into my rate console, coin tool, and I wanna look at all of my books. What would I get? I'll get what? Come on, this is like the third time, right? I need the model, right? I need to actually talk to the class, uninitialized constant, book. So I have the table, right? I have the database, but I have no model that the database talks to. So where would I put the model? In views. Very good. Yes. All right. So what is this? Book? I'm sorry. Books? Books or book? Book. Cool beans. All right. And what does that look like? How would I do this? Class. Book. From. 
Oops. Why active record base? It's talking active record, right? So I'd have a, oops, oops, a daisy. Author two, all right? So this is gonna give me all of my cool, cool guy smooth like methods, right? My first, my all, my second, my third, my sort. This is like this is where it gives it to me, right? So we talked about relationships in mod one. How do we establish the relationship here? What is the relationship between author and books? Look familiar? Cool. And then what about this one? Book. Long to what? Yeah? Boop, 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 boop. Pretty normal. Which is why it's so important that you understand active record leaving mod one. All right? And all the magical powers that it gives you. So let's test. Yeah? Cool. Boop. Boop, boop. So I can do book.all. All right, let's make a book. Cool. What is it? Title? And what's the title of this book? Anyone reading anything good? What? Very good. The Art for War. That's the Art of War. <laughs> I see I missed something in blogs. Uh, and this is just a snippet. All right. Wise, ancient. Things from your boy. And then what else did this need? Author ID. Cool. And what's the author ID? It's one for now. All right. Just like whatever the first one will be. Cool. Nice. Um, we probably need some sort of author too, right? Author dot dot create name, right? My dude. Cool. So I should be able to see book dot first, and I should be able to see that book's what, S or S or S or no, no S. Why? Hmm. You sure? Okay. I know. <laughs> Lucky guess. Lucky guess. Here's here's where the real kicker is, right? This method is being defined. Right here. If I did this, right, even though it belongs to authors, don't make no sense, right? Where I put the S here is where I'm going to call the method here. That make sense? So whatever I wind up naming it is how I'm going to call it later. All right? So like, if I really wanted to, I can do something like cool author, something like that. And then I'll have to change the class. Uh, it's going to get complicated. Let's not do that. Author. <laughs> All right. We can talk offline about like renaming things, but for now, so far so good. Mod one, right? Mod one stuff. Throwbacks. Cool. I should also be able to test, right? My author dot first, and I should be able to see this person's what book or books. Cool. Yeah. So far so good. Nothing wild? All right, you ready to crud it up? Crud, 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 crud. Damn. Not even excited in the beginning. Usually the excitement dies down later. Man, it's rough, rough. <laughs> All right, so if I need to build crud, where should I start? The models, the views, or the controller? All right, We're, are we done with the model? Yeah, kind of for now. Right? There's like nothing else we'd really need to be putting in there. Association's done, right? all my methods are good, I'm pulling from active record. I don't really see anything that I need to do for the model at the moment. At the moment. I'm trying to be cool, right? Hundo P, perf, V good. I'm out of control. So, do we have any views right now? No. Should I be building views right now? Like, who is telling me what view to go to right now? The controller, right? So would it make sense to build the view before I build out the controller? 
Probably not. So that leaves what? A controller. Cool. I'm going to build authors first. All right. And here we're just going to start flying. All right. If it doesn't make sense or you're lost, please raise your hand, slow me down, because I'm just going to try to get these concepts through. All right. First thing is index is I'm not sending any information. I'm just receiving information. So if I want to see something, just to see it, it's going to be a get request, right? To authors. That's it. So do action. And then all I'm going to do is I need to see all of my authors. So I'm going to make an instance variable because I'm going to pass this to the view. All right? I'm going to do author. Data. And then I'm just going to serve up, remember, this will break right? uh, my authors folder, the index page. So ERB is highlighted, but what I want is the path highlighted. This will break. Right? Also, careful with this. It's tricky. Yeah? I've seen it. I've seen it. All right? Just be careful with it, all right? Cool beans. So what does this mean over here? Yes, sir. Slash name? What? Oh, I see. Okay. So why am I going to author slash index and not just index? Yeah. Got it. Sorry. So what's happening here is in my application controller, I'm setting the views to be at views. If I don't give it a specific folder, where will it look? It's just going to look in the root of views. So here we have just welcome. There's no subfolder prepending this. So in my views, I'm just going to go look at welcome. All right. Without telling it what subfolder to look in, it's going to look in just views because that's what I told it to do. All right? Great question. Cool. So now I want to go into the author's folder and show something called index. So what should I do now? Yep, very good. In my author's folder, I'm going to build something called index.erb. Because right, that's what I'm asking it to serve up. So in my index, what do I want to do? All right. In Dex. So cool. So hip. Much wow. I want to do for each author, right? Do what? I should wrap this in. Yeah. What should I do? Alright, just a little bit of this. Yeah. Alright, just throw a little break here for funsies. If you have this snippets, like this uh, Rails snippets package, uh, I think it's like command period, a command comma. Yeah, there we go. Command comma packages. I have a lot of like packages here, but let's see Rails. I think Rails is one of them. Rails snippets. If I download something like this, then I should be able to do. Uh, command shift period gives me the equal. Command shift period again takes it away. And then comments it. And then it goes right back. So it cycles. Cool. If you don't have the snippets, you can press equal tab. Or you can press minus tab. And it'll give you the one with or without the equal sign. So equals is just like what we showed That's it. It's so, yep. Uh, I tried Mm -hmm. It's because um, what it's trying to do is show this authors.each, right? And if you were HTML and you saw authors.each, what would you do? Like, what tag would you put this in? Yeah, Sinatra doesn't know either. <laughs> yeah. It'd be like, yo, is this like a P tag or is this like a H1? Or is this like an A tag? Um, 
and then it's just like it's like not nah, dog. Just kidding. I'm not. I'm not gonna figure this out for you. It's just stop. All right. But here, it's just text. It knows how to render text. It's just probably gonna drop it in like like some p tag or something. Or you can just send text directly to HTML. It's pretty jank like that. But it doesn't know how to process this, and that's why. All right. Cool. I mean, I think with the end tag, if you put like an equal, it'll be like, oh, that's just end. It's fine. Like, it thinks it's text. Does that make sense? But the fact that it thinks it's text, it probably messes up this do block. So you get like really weird stuff. But this line on four will break it. So is it just like similar? Similar, yeah. Cool. Questions, comments, concerns? Good question, yeah? Awesome. So let's test. So I want to go to localhost 9393. And this is going to be my root, but I didn't start the server. Just kidding. It's like, this is going to be my root, right? Cool. Oh, wow. So fancy. All right? Why is this so fancy? What is this? What page am I serving up here? The welcome page, right? If you remember, in my application controller, root serves up welcome. And so what welcome is going to have is all of this. And so I built some of this for you in order for you to start visualizing how massive and creative things can get, right? Like I'm on my home page. I want to see books. I want to see all of them. Cool. Let me uh, open this up a little bit. I only want to do this so you can have this corner handy. All right. But look, if I were to go to books and I go view all, I'm going to go to slash books. If I want to create a new book, where should I go? Books what? What route? What path? What resource? Book slash new. All right. Do you see it in the bottom left corner there? What about authors? If I want to view all of them, where should I go? Slash authors. If I want to make a new author, authors new. All right. And then I have like a little nav bar, home, all the books, create a new one. All right. See how I'm like scrolling through? And so like now you can start to see like how this whole routing thing works and like all your web pages, right? And let me show you now what that looks like in HTML. In my navigation, in my nav bar, in my header, I just have a tag going to home. I also want to view all my books, and that's going to point to the slash books resource. Same thing with create a new book, book slash new. Right? Authors, authors index. Create an author, authors new. They're all just A tags. They're all just linking to different pages that are going to hit different routes inside my authors controller, and it's going to serve me back the right HTML. Right? So when I want to do authors index and I see show me all the authors, I'm hitting slash authors so that I can get all the authors, and then I'm just showing the index page. Cool? So let's, let's take a look. All right? I want to see all the authors. I'm going to click this. It's going to go to, in the bottom left corner, slash authors. And what slash authors is going to do is hit my controller, see the corresponding slash authors route, touch the database, then serve me back the index. Cool. All right. Index. Uh, that's my dude. My dude. Because right, I only made one author, do you remember? My dude. It's Thursday, but dude. <laughs> yeah? Cool? So let's see this um, a little bit clearer. Cool? I'm going to, uh, man, what is this? CD, Flatiron School, NYC Web. You guys are 917. This is your 18th lesson. All right? Cool. I can do rake console. And go right here and just jam it out, right? Author.create. All right, who's a cool author? <laughs> it's because he is cool, that's why. You know what? I'm going to give him the respect he deserves. Proper noun. Bam! Right? So now I have two authors, right? So if I wanted to and I did something like author.all, what would I get? Two authors? All right? So if I did this, bloop, 
Sunzu there. All right. I like how Sunzu and my dude are in the same category. What a, what a time to be alive. Any questions on this? On how that worked? Yeah. Nice. Cool. So we're gonna start moving. Uh, why did I put new above show? Let's uh, let's let's quickly review. Yeah. So I'm gonna do get right. And what is this? I want to see a specific one. So I need the. Cool. And then what is this going to do? It's going to give me the author. With what? The ID. The ID that's coming from here. Yeah? And then what am I going to do with it? I'm going to show in the author's folder the show page. Cool. So do I have a show page? I need to make one in my authors. I need a show page. So show.herb. And in here, it's kind of like, show me the author. Bloop. Actually, you know what? Let's mix it up, right? Let's throw some. So let's take them to flavor. To, oh, no. I just throw a cookie in there. Fun. Bloop. Cool. All right. And what do we have here? Just the author, that name. And we'll just do something like, uh, we'll just throw it in the p tag, close that up, and then I'll say, author name, show me what you got. Cool. So how would I hit this resource? One, two, three. No, All right, one. What am I gonna say? Show me the author, right? With the author name of Madhu. Cool. Oh, look at this cookie. Came through like a champ. Yeah. Any other questions? Rather, what are your questions? Sorry, I didn't answer any questions. I'm a bad teacher. Huh? Good. Yeah. All right. Let's fly. Yeah. Gonna fly now. All right, so what's this? Yeah. Remember, I put new here because it's going to hit the params first by accident. All right. So it's just thinking ahead a little bit, and I moved to new above show. If you remember that weird error, if this is above new, and I put slash authors new, it's going to think that the params is new. So I don't want that. I gotta hack it up. Okay. Cool. What? The solution is to move it up. Any more specific research resource should be above less specific resources. Right? New is very specific. Params of ID is less specific. You will not run into this error with Rails, and uh, you'll see why. Right? It's not just dead. But it's a good like learning learning tool, yeah. Cool, so what do I need here? Do I need anything, like author? Nah, it's for chumps. I just need to what? Serve up the new page. And what is in this new page? It's just gonna be the form, right? So let's make a new author. Cool. And how do I do a form? Boom, right? So we don't need the class. Styling's for chumps. Is this going to be a post method or patch, put, or delete? Maybe a get, post, cool. And where, where do I want this to go? Slash authors. Is that the RESTful route? Should I, should I double check RESTular? I think this is okay. This is okay. Out of boy, right? So if I know I'm going to hit this route, I probably need the post to slash. I need to make the route. Ooh, that looks ugly. Ooh, cool. All right, this is the route I'm going to hit. Yeah? Let me drop a binding in here. Think ahead. I'm sorry. I just want to apologize. I didn't eat breakfast, so if the recording is catching all of this like grumbling that's happening, you just ignore it. 
Yeah. Cool. So what do I need here for author? A little input action. Is it text? And what does name again come through as? This is going to be the key in my params. So I probably want name, right? That's the attribute of my author. What about the value? Should I put a value in here? What should I put? Placeholder. And that should be, give me the loop, give me the loop. I'm a bad boy. Give me the loop, give me the loop. I'm a bad boy. All right, and then what? Anything else? I, I need to submit for sure, right? Otherwise, it's like a horrible user experience. It's like, imagine you have a form and you can't even submit it. It's embarrassing, all right? All right, submit that form. Good answer. Sorry, I watched, um, what is it? It's not Double Dare. Family Feud the other day. So I'm just like, I'm just in that zone. You know? like, good answer, good answer. Cool. So how do I hit this route? Maybe, maybe what? Literally the exact route I told it to hit, right? Slash author slash new. Cool. And I should see what? Form. Oh, I am sorry. I'm, I'm starving. Cool. Submit that form. Good answer. Cool. Um, give me the loot. Sounds really aggressive. Let's, ch let's change that, right? Like author name, please. Cool. All right. So what's the op author name? Lucky? Unlucky. Stephen King. Meet. I make a lot of weird, uh, a lot of weird <laughs> ads. But who, what's the author's name? A preferably fun one, like Sun Tzu. Biggie Smalls. He is an author. Author of hip hop. You know I'm saying. Cool. So what happens when I hit this form? What should I be going to? I'm going to post to slash authors, right? And in the post to slash authors, in my controller, what did I put in there? Pry. So if I hit this, I should hit the pry, yeah? Boop. Let's check. Oh, hanging. Damn. I'm hungry. Cool. Cool. I'm in the pry. Yay. All right? What are my params? Name? Biggie Smalls. Bad. All right? So can I just do author.new with my params? Yeah. yeah? Let's find out. Bloop. Cool. A equals to underscore and then a.save. Will it save? You know it. So if I did author.all, what should I have? My dudes, Sun Tzu, and the notorious VIG. Right? Cool. Sorry for these references, they're out of control. Cool, so I know now I can finish my authors. Instead of this pry, I can probably just do what? Uh, author equals to author.create with the params that were passed through. So far, so good? What happens now? It's just gonna sit there? Do I want that? Do I want to be like, cool, you created an author, great, good job, okay, see you later, bye, and just like leave? Or do I want to show the user something else? All right, I want to show the what? The post page? I want to show the show page? Let me show you something, all right? Uh, if I did authors slash show, oops, made the mistake I told you not to, all right? What would happen? Hmm? We do have a show page. It's, it's right there. It's right there. That's right there. Boop. Do I want to show it here? Yes, I want to redirect. Uh, right now, the difference between the ERB, ERB is just like rendering, right? I'm just going to serve you up this show page. What happens is it's going to take all of the attributes from this one request and pass it in here. In my show page, I'm looking for what? Something called at author. Do I have at author in my post? No. I can probably make it here so that at author will exist. But as you can start to see in the future, right, as the logic gets crazier, I should probably redirect it to the show because in the show, 
it's going to point to this, and then now author is going to be found with the params, and then it's going to show with this author as opposed to this author. All the HTTP requests are something known as like stateless, meaning when I do this get, authors exist. When I do this get, authors does not exist. When I do this get, author exists. All right? So each one doesn't really know anything about the previous request. What happens in the request stays in the request. You know what I'm saying? Vegas style. Redirect will not pass parameters, no. Redirect to what? Slash what? Okay. Very hip of you. Why am I doing this? It's because I need I need the I need this ID to come through. Alright? So I have to tell it to go to the author I just made that author's ID. And then when it hits this, it's gonna find it again, and then it's gonna show it with that correct author. Cool? Yeah, nice, good deal. Awesome. Awesome. Alright. What about edit? What is this? Is this a, a patch right here? Because I see edit. Rookie move. Rookie move. Right? Oops, sorry. Authors. And then what do I do here? I need the ID of the specific author I'm going to edit. Because remember, the author must exist, right? If I'm going to edit it. And then what am I going to tell it to go? Maybe to like the edit path. Right? Pretty simple. And what do I need here? I probably need the author, right? Just thinking ahead, let's see, right? Author.find with the params of ID. And then what am I going to serve up? The edit page. Cool. I'll show you. I say a lot about this, like, form being the same. So I'm lazy. Editor. The Burninator. Cool. All right. Where does this go to? Slash authors. Slash ID. Like this. I need this specific author ID. That's why I needed it in the controller. Yeah? Kind of one of the main differences between like the new, because the new I don't really do that. I don't do the at author because I don't really need it. I'm just making a new one. How can I even do author.find by when there are no params here? But now that I have the params, I can do author.find by so that in my form, I can hit the correct route. And this is going to be a post, patch, put, or delete. Do I edit it right here? Yes? Rookie move. Stop the madness. Stop the madness. Remember, HTML only knows about what? Get and post. So I gotta be sneaky. I gotta hide this bad boy. All right? And what method am I telling it to do? Yeah? This is where the method override is gonna come in. Cool? Say again? Um, you need an ID of hidden if you're trying to pass capybara tests. Yeah. But no, you, no, you don't. Cool? All right. So, do I have an actual author right now? Cool. So, do I want a placeholder here? I can do value. And then what can I put here instead? Oops. I can probably interpret, right, the at author dot name. Cool. So, I'm going to hit a patch request to slash authors slash ID. So let's do that. Patch request to slash authors slash ID. So far so good? Cool. So I'm going to just pause it right there. Yeah? So when I go to authors 
slash, I'm going to leave Sun Tzu alone. I'm going to have to go with my dude, get rid of my dude over here, and I want to edit it. This is the exact resource, the exact route that I'm going to go to to see the edit form. Yeah? Cool beans. So, editor, the burninator, all right? So do we want my dudes? My dude? It's Thursday, all right? It's Thursday, my dudes. Cool? So if I hit submit that form, good answer, where's it going to go? Am I going to hit the binding? Let's check. I got some form. I'm going to go to the slash authors with an ID of a post, just kidding, patch. Psych. Got him, coach. All right, so I'm going to go to a patch of authors slash ID, and that's going to hit what? It's going to hit the patch in the controller, which, what did I put in there? I put the binding, right? Cool, let's do it. I can see I'm hanging. Cool. So let's take a look, all right? I'm in the patch, I'm in the binding. What do I have here? I have underscore method patch. Can I then do, with this information, um, a equals to author.find with the ID, sorry, I'm hard coding it, it's no bueno, all right? And what do I get, what is A? It's my dude, right? So I do a.update with the params. Who says yes? Okay. Who says no? Who like hasn't gotten here yet and has like no idea? Who just doesn't like voting? Ironic because you probably won't vote for that one. Sweet. So it says unknown attribute underscore method for author. Interesting. Hmm. Why would it do this? All right, I don't have an attribute called underscore method inside my author. I only have like a name, even an ID, really. All right, so how can I, how can I get around this? I'm gonna like sneak by this thing over here. Let's take a look. Let's take a look in just a regular old session, right? I'll go to the herb. Can you see this on the right? Can you see the right? Is this cool? Is that cool? Can you see in the back? You see this in the right? All right. So I can do params because I'm silly like that. And I'm just going to make this an empty hash for whatever reason. All right. Can I then do params with a key of author? What should I assign this? Can I make this a hash? So what would I get if I called params? A hash with a key of author that points to an empty hash. So if I wanted to do author, and I were to say like some rando attribute, and I would say this is really cool, what would I get? What are params now? I have in my params a key of author that points to another hash with random attribute that points to really cool, right? Is that cool? What if I did something like name, all right? Pizza Hut, I am so hungry. So what if I call just params author? Can I force certain key values within a nested hash that I want? Instead of just taking params now, I can get only these that I want in its own separate hash. So I can probably get rid of method and ID if I put name in its own hash. So let's try to find let's try to find out a cool way to do that. Yeah, oops, exopt. Now, if I go to my code and I go to my form and I were to say this name, what is this again? In my params, is it the key or the value? 
key, interesting. So can I do something like book and just give it the key of name? Oh, I'm sorry, we're in authors. Thank you for that. That would have been, that'd been no bueno. And then that would point to the author name. So let's find out. Let's test. Cool. Let's get out of here. Let's go back to reality. Back to life. All right. So my dude, all right, nested hash. I submit the form. I hit the binding. And I check my params out. And I see that I have an author key that points to a new hash. So if I did something like params with a key of author, do I have only the name? Now that I no longer have this weird underscore method or an ID or other fields I don't want, can I do a equals to author dot find right, with the params of the ID? So now A, can I update with the params at the key of author? Because I got rid of the nonsense. Yeah? I created my own nested hash only with the attributes that I wanted. So I'm not passing in all the params now, just the params of the key of the hash of values I want which happens to be just name here. Cool? So to summarize, all I did was added my own key so that I can get rid of the params here and the params of ID that I don't really necessarily want. Right? I forced it to be its own hash so that I can then use mass assignment. Right? Is that more better? Yeah. Otherwise, what will happen is I will have to do like a dot update, and this is going to be annoying. All right, the name with params of name. If you imagine, if I had two, three, or four attributes on this, I'd have to do attribute one, and that's going to be also at the params of attribute one, and then attribute. Two. This is so boring. It's like really slow. Of params of attribute to. Like, do you see how like as annoying this is? But if I made my nested hash, I can just I just drop in params of author, and then everything in the author hash goes right in. Yeah, this will make more sense in books. Cool. I just want to introduce you slowly to like this concept. All right, so. Cool beans. Any questions on just this, the nested hash, how I made it in the form? Let's see the power. Cool. So, so far, I think the author's control is pretty good, right? We have the six restful routes done, everything except delete. Oh, yeah, I should put the code in. You're right, you're right. So, author equals to author.find with the params of ID. And then I'm just going to do author.update right, with the params of the nested hash that I created. Cool. And then what do I do? Do I want the user to just hang here or I want them to what? Probably see that update, right? So I want to redirect to what? Slash authors slash right, author ID. Cool. So let's check it. Let's check it. So what do I have here? He was a cool author. My dudes get kind of, kind of, kind of stale. Alan Turing. You can tell I'm very creative, and I came up that all by myself, on my own, without looking at any of the environment around me. Nice, Alan Turing. Yeah. Huh? Um, a very interesting character from a very cool movie and was able to fool the police. Anyways, questions on this? Now, let's do book and I'll show you about the nested hash. I'll uh, show you about um, creating a nested like attribute 
like a relationship attribute, and then we'll we'll call it. We'll break for lunch. Yeah. Awesome. Sweet. Do you need me to go over index and show here? Do you want to see it again? All right. Let's not do it. Yeah. I'm in books now. And what is this books new? Yes, it will break. Cool. And in the new, what do I need? Do I need my book? No, I don't, right? So I'm just going to herb it up, and I'm going to send in books new. All right. So now in my books folder, in my views folder, I need a file called new, right? So books folder, under views, books, new. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to rip this. All right, make a new book, sweet. I'm going to the books path. It's just going to be a post, all right? And here's where it gets a little, little tricky. What are my attributes for book? Title, all right? So I need a title. And what else do I need? I need a snippet. Cool. And what else do I need? Snippet here. Yeah, and then I submit it. Are those all my categories? I need an author ID, right? So, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it live. Author ID, right? Sorry, bud. Need to know ID ahead of time. So, let's find out. I can just go to my books slash new, and that's going to hit my form. It's going to hit my controller, give me the new, and then I'm going to run to the form. Here's like a really crappy thing, right? I'm going to hit my books controller, and I'm going to hit my create. So this is going to be a what? Post put patch delete. To what? Books anything? Yeah, I didn't think so. When I hit this submit, right, let's say, what's the title? The Irrational Season, sure. What's this about? Something, all right? What author ID do I want to put in here? That was creepy. That's like a cackle, right? That's a cackle. Ooh, this is like a bad user experience, right? I need to be able to like know from memory which author ID I want to attach this to. So is that weird? I mean, I could probably put two in here and like say, oh, Sun Tzu wrote this book. So if I submit that form, all right, I'm going to hit the binding, and I can do book.new with the params, right? Will that work? Yeah. Right? B equals underscore b.save. So now I have a new, I have a new book. So it does work, right? But is that a good user experience? It's an awful user experience. Like, how do I even know what author that is? I just put in a number. It's, it's rando. You know what they say, you know what I'm saying? It's 2018. I hang out with randos. Right? Don't read rando books. So what do I do? What would be a good user experience if I were to be able to like maybe like select an author or something, right? Yeah? So Remember, you came in here, I assumed a certain level of understanding of HTML. So instead of like this hard coding text field, what should I probably put in here? A drop down, right? Does anyone remember how to do it? That's right, Google. All right? That is how you do it. <laughs> that is definitely how you do it. Uh, but also, in case you forgot, right, like I did, right? Show you my Google skills. I'm just going to do this. Oh, select tag must be nice. What's this? Example, just like every good developer, just rip it. And just go, cool, man. Cool. So I'm going to go to my new, right? If I hit Command Tab, it's going to search my files. So if I type new, I'm going to see both the news, books and authors. If I know I'm specifically going to books, new, it'll tell me. This is one of the best searching algorithms I've ever seen because guess what? I could probably do B, new, and it'll find it. 
bn, and it'll find it. Because it's going in that order to look for stuff. So command T helps you navigate really quickly. Because remember, now you're going to get a bunch of controllers with all the same file names, right? You can have a new for books, a new for author, a new for nachos, a new for Flavortown, a new for donuts. But which one do you want, right? So now you can start searching. So BN, cool? It's going to take me here. So instead of this like sorry like input, I just want to see this select option. Is that cool? All right, just indent this gross code over here. So I'm just going to drop this in here because it's just HTML. I'm not doing anything fancy. I just want to see what it looks like. Cool, 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 cool. Sorry. sorry. And I want to go to books new. Look at that. Now I have my drop down. Right? What I really want to do is in here, I want to create options for each of my authors. So I want to be able to do something like authors.each do, and which each, with each author, I want to create some sort of option value. Hmm? Oh, thank you. Is this good practice? Should my view touch the database? No, it shouldn't. So I probably want something like authors. All right. So how am I going to get authors again? Let's go back, back into time. All right. I'm going to go to my authors controller. I'm sorry, not my authors controller. My books controller. All right. I'm going to close all of those later. In my books controller, I'm using something called authors in my books controller. So I probably want all the authors. So now at authors is really authors all. Because I want to separate those concerns. I don't want to be calling author all in my view. This will make more sense later in terms of like a security point of view, but that's why we keep them separate, MVC, right? So my controller is going to touch the database, and it's going to pass in all my authors. And then in my view, all I'm doing is pulling from the controller. Cool? So let's see what happens. All right, let's make sure this indentation is good. What should I see here? Why am I getting three? Because I only have three authors, right? So remember, don't forget, this dot each do is doing this for however many authors I have. And right now I have three. I have, well, I had my dude. I have Alan Turing, I have Sun Tzu, and I have like some other person. I, I can't remember. Huh? Right, for sure. The notorious B.I.G. How did, shame on me. Shame on me. So now what do I want to do? I want to change this to what? I just want to change the author.name, right? What is value again? What gets come across on the other side? Let's check the params real quick, right? Remember, I put the binding in here for funsies in my post. So I can always check it once I submit the form, right? So if I did title and I said uh, Volvo is not a book, right? This is bad user experience. And I picked, I don't know, Volvo 2 for whatever reason. I hit submit that form and I check my params. What do I get? Title and snippet. Hmm. 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 What do I need though? I need author ID, All right? So, what did I say the value is that comes across? Huh? It's probably going to be what? Author.id. That's what I want to come over as the value. But why did the key not come through? Where am I getting key? Where am I getting key? Name, right? 
So let me ask you, for each of these options, does it make sense to put the name inside the option tag? Kind of, right? Kind of, because then I have the name and I have the value right here for each one of these. Let's see if this will work. A little bit exopt, right? A little bit of going back, way back, back into time, right? No, baby, no, no, no. I think Black Street, the book. Um, what's like a good snippet, right? Amazing 90s R and B brand. Very good. So now look, I get the names to come out. That's good. Right? That's pretty good user experience. Let me pick big smalls. Alright, and I submit that form. Let's see what happens. What am I expecting to come through? Ooh. I still am not getting my author ID with that key value. So the value, right, let's just leave this alone for now. The name, hmm, where would I want to put this? These options all fall under a bigger, a bigger umbrella tag of select. So select is really the main one, because how many options can I really pick from at any one time? One. So my select is going to return me, ultimately, the value of the option that I pick. So select probably is going to be the key. And the option that I pick is going to be the value. Let's see if I'm right. Or you know I'm doing this, so if you can come up with like a book or something, that'd be great. Like a book or something. That'd be great. Cool. All right. Alan Turing, sure. Why not? So what are my params now? Hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> embarrassing. So what should this be? Cool. All right, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. You can, I guess you can already kind of see. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. All right, all right. we're just, we're getting, we're getting down to the wire here, all right? Where are my params? There it goes. Hey. What? Yeah, yeah. Anything you need, man. Oh, no. I'm just going to tell you right now it's not going to work. No. So the lesson here is that the select, which is the parent element of option, is going to be the key. And then whatever you wind up picking is going to be the value for that key. So if I wanted to change this to um, the key, blade, I just played Kingdom Hearts, All right? And the value, instead of author ID, right? I can put um, this is the value for show. All right, and then what is here? This is what get dis gets displayed in the dropdown, right? So I can even show you here. All right, all the same options, all the small things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. I hit it again. When I probably shouldn't have. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have. Cool. Cool. All right? Cool. Cool. All right? And then I want to make sure this is different. So cool too. Yeah? These are all the options. Because for each, I'm going to make it. All right? So let me zoom in. Let me show. What's going on over here? Oh, I need spectacle. So, loop, loop. So, I want to show something here, right? The name is going to be 
the key in the hash, the value of the hash is going to come up here, and what gets displayed in this actual dropdown will be here. All right? This gets shown. So what do I want to show in each one of these dropdowns? All right, the author name. Yeah? And then the value gets what? What gets stored inside the database? The foreign key. All right? So I want that foreign key here. And that's going to be the author's ID. That's the foreign key I'm pointing to. And then the name is what? The attribute name, right? Just author ID. Cool. So, actually, I didn't show you the broken one. Do you guys want to see the broken one? I'll show you the broken one. Hold on. Bloop, 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 bloop. Cool. All right, if I hit submit, and I look at my params, the keyblade comes from the name here. This is the key. This is the value for show, comes from the value of the option that I select. And then this is just what gets displayed. Remember, it's between the option brackets. That's just what gets displayed. So if I were to redo all those cool changes, all right. We can finally, finally make a new title. All right. What's a good book? So hungry. All right. Almost lunch. Take me home. Sweet care. I probably shouldn't mess with it at this point, right? And do we want a Biggie Smalls? Sure. So now, when I finally go through my params, that looks like it makes sense. Right, because Biggie Smalls was my third author, so my ID of that third author is actually coming through, right here. The author name disappears because it's only what gets displayed in the dropdown form, and then the name author ID is the key that I need for my attributes. Right, so here, so far so good. A equals to what? I'm sorry. I can just do book dot create with params. So far, so good. Boom, done. But what happens when I get to the edit form? I'm still going to get that weird underscore method, right? Because that gets passed through. So if I wanted to be smart about it, I'm making a new book. I'm just going to make all of these hashes. Right? Now you can see the power of mass assignment. Because this is the key, remember? Book, not key. So I just made my own book hash within the params. So lastly, I will finally, and this is the last thing, and then we all can eat. Because that's not at all what's on my mind. <laughs> right? Eat, eat, eat. Right? Lunch. Oh no! Get out of here. Launch. All right. Biggie Smalls. I submit that form. I can do params. Oh, no. Damn it. <laughs> Has this happened to anybody? Yeah. OK, so you all know what's going on. All right. OK, I'll explain. OK. Uh, Sinatra will break your terminal sometimes. Yeah, yeah. When you're like doing this, uh, I could pull up an old issue that was open on Sinatra back in like 2014, 2015. So it's like three years old uh, and they have not fixed it. So every once in a while when you run a binding in Sinatra, it'll just crash your terminal. So like I can put P, nothing, A, R, A, M, S. <laughs> arms, arms. Why? I have no idea. So the only fix really is to, uh, you gotta force close it, open a new terminal. So what I'm gonna do from now is just explain to you what's happening, right? Because it's like 11.50. In here, if I were to put params, I would just get all the normal params. If I did a key of book, I would get 
all of the regular things that I normally see, right? The title, the snippet, and the author ID. So I can then do book.create with my params at a key of book. Very similarly to what I did with the other one, with author. Who, who needs me to like restart this whole thing and show you? Cool. So that's what's happening. All right. So in the code, all right, in my books controller, I would then just do, all right, book equals to book.new with the params of a key of book. And then I'm just going to redirect to a definitely there books show page. Um, all right. Which, I mean, I, I didn't make it, but that's where you'd redirect to, right? If I made it. Okay. My bad. You're sharp. Sharp. It's the hunger, man. It's getting to me. So I would just redirect to the show page, but I would create it with this. So to summarize, all right? Cool, 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 all right? I told you about making your own nested hash for a mass assignment. I showed you how to make a drop down to create a nested attribute with an association like books or authors. And then we built a lot of CRUD, everything except the delete. That's what we did today. Are there any questions? What are your questions? What's for lunch?